All right, we've got Willie and Chad here. So um, Chad and, and, and Willie, both of you could speak, but if y'all could just give a little background on Willie's story and you know how and why he was missing teeth, I think that would really help the person watching this. You want to take it, Willie, or do you want me to do it? Yeah. All right, well, Willie has been missing teeth for about 30 years, right? Since you're right. Mid, mid, about 30, yeah. 25 to 30 years. He's 60 years old, just turned 60, and his, he's had an accident that knocked a couple of them out when he was in his 20s, and then the rest of them kind of went away whenever he was in his 30s. And um, so he's been without teeth for 30 years. And um, uh, how big of a blessing is it, Willie, just for you to have your, uh, just for these oh, people, man. Dr. Copeland and Dr. And oh, Wes. Oh, man, this is a great, they got a great job. And Fantastic a, job. It's a life-changing experience, ain't yes, it, Yes, really? it is. I mean, you you hadn't had teeth for so long, and then now you've come in here, and these people have took good care of you. Not only took good care of you, but looked after you like one of theirs. Yeah, I see it. They take good care of you. Yeah, and I mean, you know, we're so very thankful for you know Dr. Copeland, Dr. Adam, Dr. Scott, and uh, all of them. Yeah, Neil Dent, and all what they've done for Willie. I mean. A lot of people, they make fun of me because I'm a little bit more excited about Willie's taste than he is, which he's very excited, but I've been, I'm very excited. <laughs> I've been bragging on him. Let me just check the show I'm doing with him. Look at him. When I done told him, I said, you're going to have to stay out of my house. You know, the, the, the ladies are going to come flocking and it's made him look 10 years younger and it's uh, it's been a great experience up in this point in it with it. Yes, it has. And you didn't stay sore, but what two days? About two days. Um, after that, I was good to go. And and the thing about it was was most of his soreness was, um, just from breathing in cold air. Right. And when he had his surgery, it turned twelve degrees in Alabama for like five days. Right. So that was just a fluke. You know, it hadn't done that in twenty or thirty years, probably since he had teeth last, but right. <laughs> what you say so with him. Yeah. And uh it's just like I said, it's been a blessing for him. And, I mean I I'm very thrilled and very pleased to be yeah. introduced to y'all and I know Willie feels the same oh, way. Yes, I love these folks out there. Yeah, you've been telling everybody about I've it. I've been telling everybody. And, and you and if you don't believe that, he's got the when we first come up here, he's got the Dr. Copeland's card in his pocket and it's almost wore the face of it off and every we were in New Orleans last week. And he's steadily showing people, and I'm sitting here going, they might be a little bit too far, but you never know. I mean, you know, we're three hours away, and we made the trip, and we couldn't be more happier. Uh, you know? Know, I don't know where them folks live. They might live down here. <laughs> they might need some teeth, too. They might know. need some teeth to come down here to the best way you can get them fixed. That's right. It is the best. I mean, this is the best place to come. This is, I've been in a lot of dentistries and places like that, and this is by far the most they, top notch they, they, and this is the best and they treat you like family they are good to they absolutely